poor Jefferson State student with cerebral palsy has been robbed of her mobility after she says someone stole her custom made motorized wheelchair at the airport. Wait until you hear the response she got from the airline. 24 year old Victoria O'Brien has cerebral palsy and is confined to her wheelchair. So as you can imagine, her wheelchair is her lifeline. Since my wheelchair was taken on Wednesday, um, it's it just kind of like sent me back a lot. Victoria is normally very independent. She loves to travel. But on Wednesday, when she came home on American Airlines, she says someone at JFK took off with her motorized wheelchair. It's a black tiny chair. Like I'm a tiny person. I'm only 5'1", so like it's there to fit me, not like your average person. So now she's forced to use her old backup manual one. She says when she was escorted off the plane and didn't see her wheelchair on the jet bridge, an attendant thought maybe the chair was in baggage claim. Victoria waited for three hours in a loner wheelchair at the airport and still no answers from the airline. I just want American, um, American Airlines to be held accountable. I don't think they realize that it's just it's not luggage. It's like my independence. Victoria says it's going to take at least two months to order a new wheelchair. Victoria's mom says she wants American Airlines to do the right thing and get her daughter a new wheelchair. Victoria is going through the same protocol right now as if she lost a makeup bag. They're making her wait 30 days. Now it's not like we can go to somewhere and replace this. They're really getting in the way of her independence and her livelihood right now. And American Airlines told the family that they needed to wait 30 days until they investigate the matter. Now, in the meantime, Victoria and her mother are going to file a police report for the stolen wheelchair that was worth $6,000. Now, we reached out to American Airlines for comments, but we are still waiting to hear back.